So for the exterior, this is a good way to talk about this being a half of a duplex. So the entire attic space is included on the north side, but then basically from the attic down, the line is right in the middle. So from the bulkhead, the living room windows, and the bedroom window, plus the entire third floor over is what we are selling here. And then for the land, it is truly dividing right down the middle here. And it's this entire north half of this backyard. Might seem a little unique and strange, you know, cause it is, but at the same time, there's so many properties that have no fencing and you just go by the mow line. So uh, essentially we're just coming right on down this middle. So we do have a new septic system here, which is awesome. Uh, not awesome that they needed to put a new one in, but it is fully engineered, designed, and installed properly. We have a wastewater permit. So you've got a cover here. There's another riser closer to the deck. There used to be a garage here many moons ago. Obviously you've just got the old kind of foundation still sitting here. So opportunity waiting. So the south side property is owned by uh, a family member and he resided the house not that long ago. So it looks beautiful. It's a nice sage green vinyl siding. And this includes a shed. So the shed will be all emptied out. And essentially you've got, you know, this whole big backyard. So it's long and narrow. There is the rear wooden deck. And there's a couple ways to get back here. So this is the laundry room door, which does have the stone steps plus access to the deck. And then there's also this door, which is at the foot of the stairs that went upstairs to the second floor. You can see that that also has some concrete steps, but it does not have a direct access to the deck. So again, room for improvement. There's the other riser for cleaning out the septic tank. There needs to be some paint maintenance on the outside. You can see that some of the, the trim is due. Also, I've noticed that little piece of siding has popped out. So here's the driveway for the north side of the property. Look at this. Oh my God, if you could smell these flowers right now. The bees are going crazy. Oh, I don't know what this is called, but the bees are buzzing everywhere. You're happy, happy. So this is the main entry. This is the, basically the front door, if you will, uh, to this unit. So you park here, plenty of off-street parking. I would say you could easily fit three cars. There's a gorgeous, mature, tree here in the front yard. I believe this is a maple tree. Don't quote me on it. Provides a lot of natural shade. So there's the chimney that we saw up in the third floor attic space. You can see it pops up right there. So again, just to reiterate that there's first and second floors here, plus the entire third floor belongs to the north side of this duplex. So that one shared wall that exists, kind of right down the middle and over. Okay, and then because I have your attention, I'm gonna show you a little bit about Cleveland Avenue. Right across the street, is the Cleveland Avenue Park. So there's, I think they always call those a merry-go-round. It's a little climbing ladder thing, a little fire truck that jogs around. Thank you to the North Shaft Lions and Boy Scout Troop 331 for helping spruce up this park. 
So you've got a mulch playground here, swing set, slide, ladder, and then there's a little ball field, a little bench. It does describe that the playground is designed for children ages two to five and five to 12 with adult supervision recommended. So it's really convenient to have that right across the street. So whether you have kids or not, irrelevant. Just know that there will be some kids playing across the street at the playground. And the other thing you should know about Cleveland Avenue is that at Halloween, basically the street gets completely shut down because everybody's going to be giving away candy. Uh, they, I think over 600 trick-or-treaters <laughs> every year. Uh, you don't have to participate obviously, but it is a nice community activity that Cleveland Avenue is known for. Decorations and costumes are optional. So nice sidewalks. You can get all the way to Shasper Elementary School here on the sidewalks. They have a crossing guard. Oh, it's just a nice little walkable neighborhood. Um, if you did this whole loop from, from the house around on sidewalks over to Church Street and then Route 7A um, by my dentist uh, <laughs> and, then, and then it loops back around to Cleveland Avenue, it's sidewalked the whole way. So it's a nice big loop. Uh, I'm going to guess it's about a mile, might be a mile and a half, uh, but it's a nice walk to take totally flat. You'll see other people enjoying that walk for their own exercise or walking their dogs on a pretty regular basis. So I'm just gonna approach the house here from this side and show you the shade of the tree one more time. So there is a shingled roof on everything uh, over here that I'm selling. The slate roof that you see here is on the south side. That is not what is for sale. We're only selling the north side of this beautiful old duplex.